Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will change out the parts inside this fan. So this fan isn't working well. I'll turn it on so we can listen. There you go, it should not sound like that. This is a builder grade, so it's relatively straightforward and easy and pretty cheap too. So why are we doing this? Well, these are notorious for building up a bunch of gunk inside them. Let's pull this down right here. So almost all fans open that same way, by the way but they build up with um, dust and debris and eventually these motors start making crazy sounds or they just die all together. So to take this down, you can see I just kind of pinch in these little parts here, give them a little wiggle and this cover comes down. Now this one's looking a little bit beat up and old. So I actually bought another one. Here's some of the replacement parts we're gonna put in, by the way, there's a cover right there that was 11 bucks. I got two different uh, fan assemblies, by the way. One of them is 50 CFMs at four zones, and the other is 70 CFMs at six zones. So this one will be a little bit louder, but more powerful. This one will be a little bit more quiet, but it doesn't push as much air. Down in the description, I'll put links to all these products so you can check them out online if you'd like. And for our next step, you're gonna to wanna to measure the box. So mine is about eight by seven and a quarter inches. So now that you have your measurement, check out this. On the boxes, they'll tell you which sizes these are for. So for mine, it was an eight by seven and a quarter. And it's saying, yep, that is the right size here. Another common size is a seven and a half by seven and a quarter. And it's saying that no, that is not, this particular one is not the right one for that. So if you're at Home Depot or Lowe's, make sure that you double check the shelf. There'll be a few different sizes for them. These typically come in two and there's also a third size as well. But typically these are the two sizes that you see for most of these. Also, all of these that we're looking at, I'll put links in the description down below. So if you wanted to purchase these online, you could do that as well. Then, for now though, let's take out the old one. So step one, you wanna make sure that the power is turned off. So I have this fan turned off. Secondly, this unplugs right here, just like a regular outlet. The next thing we'll do is these little tabs that I'm pointing to here, these one, two, three, are what hold this metal piece in. And what we'll do is we'll just gently pry them a little bit and this piece will pop out. I'll put a screwdriver tip in there just a little bit, just a little bit, and then this will pull down. There you go, easy as that. So this up in here, while it is a little bit dirty, it is in good shape and our, there's where the air goes out, by the way. This baffle seems to be working correctly, right? We want this to open and close. We want it to open to push air out, but if it's a windy day, we don't want air coming back in. So the way it's set up here is it's kind of like a one-way valve. It'll only let air go out, it won't let air in. So maybe we'll just clean that up just a touch and then we will talk about putting our new parts in. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the 70 CFMs. It's a little bit louder. And you can see, this is what it looks like here. Here's the old one. And these two tabs, I'll show you where they pop in up here. So there's these little holes, see those two holes there? And that's where those tabs are gonna go in. And we'll see if we can get those tabs to line up. Okay, so those two tabs are in, and then this part will just gently push up. All right, now you wanna make sure, see how this part right here? We wanna make sure that this metal is kinda of getting caught on this, and that's what's gonna keep it up there in place, so we can kinda of jiggle it a little bit and make sure, and if not, you might bend this down like with a screwdriver a little bit. That looks great. Now we'll just plug it in. We can give it a little test. Ooh. Boy, it definitely sounds a little stronger. So I've decided that I think that was a little bit too loud. 
I'm gonna try this one over here that's only four zones, so it shouldn't be as loud. Now it's only 50 CFM, so it's gonna move a little bit less air, but this bathroom is right next to where my kids sleep. In fact, it's in between them, and it sounds awfully loud. I wanna make sure I'm not waking them up early in the morning when someone's taking a shower. So let's try out this other one instead. Again, it looks basically identical. We'll put in those tabs, push it up on this end, make sure these engage, plug it in, and let's try that out. Perfect. That is very close to what the old uh, fan, when it was working correctly, that's about the same amount of noise. I think that's gonna work a lot better. So I wish it was pulling a little bit more air, but we've never really had a problem in this bathroom with like hot air and steam and mist. It seems like it works pretty good. So we'll go with that one right there. And now this cover seems like it's kind of like yellowing a little bit. So let's put on a new cover. So I'll turn off the fan and this one's gonna work the same way. And it's got these little clips that we're gonna push all the way in, right? Pull like this. Get it to fit up in those holes. Just like that. Let's see if I can show you better on this other one. Perfect. Pop it up. Then you can see the old paint here, so I might just play with it a little bit, see if I can get it to cover most of that up. That looks pretty good. And we'll try it out. Perfect, nailed it. All right, my friends, check it out. These parts were bought at Home Depot. You could also buy them online. I'll put it in, down in the description down below. I'll put a link to these as well. Hey friends, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.